How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. They call me the Toaster and let's get right into today's episode. So we finally started our villager farm. We already have two children. So we have four villagers total. We only need six more in here. So I've already fed the villagers their three bread. So I'm just going to wait for magic to happen. But in the meantime, I guess what we could do is check on the tree farm. Because I guess they don't really like to do it while being watched and I can't really blame them. But it is nighttime, so let's go get some well-needed rest by sprinting all the way to our bed. Which is super, super far away. It's at least 64 blocks away from the villager farm and iron farm which is a requirement so although it is less than ideal what are you gonna do all right and it looks like our lava farm has been going pretty strong which is awesome so what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to put the last piece of lava here close that off and then i'm going to take back this bucket and now i should be able to make a lot of lava which is good because as I get an iron farm going I'll be able to make more cauldrons and expand on this uh, lava farm a little bit all right so let's go continue yes um, I already have the six fletching tables for the other villagers that are to come uh, let's see if one got put into here already perfect awesome so I'm going to break this. I'm going to put down this one. And if I am correct, we have one minecart left. So we could do one more for the villagers. One, two, three pieces of bread. And give that to them. And we're just going to change the rail. We're going to go over into this one right over here. So... Let's go check on the tree farm while we wait for that last one to happen. Oh, and I have to collect some of the drops that happened. Any of the drops happen outside? Yeah, a stick. Oh, well, that's okay. So these ones aren't growing very well, which is a little bit unfortunate. But we have stopped the podzol from spreading down to the floor below. I mean, it is just kept up here, which looks a lot cleaner but maybe i should expand this tree farm a little bit i do have a lot more saplings and if i remember correctly i think i left them here inside of the villager farm oh my goodness <laughs> so that's the trick you just have to leave for like a second and then come back and then they'll be ready all right very good Oh, and I can't forget to place down the trap doors here. Just to protect them for now. All right. So yeah, I still have 30 saplings plus 9. I should try to plant more. Um, so let's extend this. Let's extend this tree farm just a little bit. What can I do? If well, first of all, I need more dirt. That is a given because I'm not planting it on the floor and ruining my nice lawn. If you hate how Podzol ruins your beautiful grass, you know what you got to do? You got to hit that like button. You got to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. All right. So we got two and a half stacks of dirt. Is there any else in here? Yeah, there's another one here. Okay. So I'll try to expand it as much as I can. But I think I need to grab a little bit of a food. Delicious. Oh, and I guess I'll eat up all the way. I am running low on hearts. All right, hello, Shep. So if I was to extend this. Ooh, I guess. I could. So I have one, two, three, four. So yeah, I guess I would I would have to place it inside of these chunks area here so that they're loaded. So what I'm going to do is 
put this just like that and I guess I'll extend this all the way over here yeah and I'll I'll add another row because these trees are not growing fast enough is it possible that it's just because they're too close together I'm not sure but what I'll do on this one is I'll space them out by two instead of one and see if that makes any difference in the growing. We are doing Minecraft science today. Myth busting. My favorite kind. So I need to get my support beams, of course. So let's just go into here and grab any extra stone bricks that we might have. Running low on stone bricks. But that's okay. We'll just make do with what we can. And it's good that I'm building a lava farm because now I can smelt things without having to use coal. I could use a renewable source for my energy needs, which is super environmentally friendly. And I'm going to get a big metal for conserving the environment. I hope. All right, so we're going to spread them out. One, two, three, four, five. And then I did like that. Add some consistency. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll add another one here. And another one here. One, two, three, four, five. All right. One, two, three, four, five. And this one is over here. And is this consistent with the other one? Yeah. Perfect. And then the last one was just at the edge over here. I remember that. Okay, awesome. So now I need a way up onto this one as well. So I need more ladders. Uh, but that's okay. For right now, I'll need to make more ladders at a later time. So I need my... I need my saplings. I'm going to do one, two, four. And now I'm going to skip it by two. So I'm going to do... I'm going to conserve my torches for this one. You see now, so this one, look, it's it's saplings, then there's one skip for the torches, and then more saplings. So I'm going to do saplings. I'm going to skip two. Put another torch. And keep planting them like this. Put one here. Oh, I think that was three. Whoops. Oh, if I could just do it like that, I could fix it. Perfect. And we'll keep going. I think, no, I gotta keep this consistent. I gotta put one here. And I'm gonna do one, two, four. Okay, and do it like that. One, two, three, four. And do I have room for one more? Um, No, I don't. But I guess I'll just plant it anyways. What are you gonna do? All right, perfect. So let's see if these ones grow any quicker than the other ones do. And in the meantime, I guess I'll leave this bridge up here until I make the more ladders. Nice. All right. So that's very good. So let's go put these saplings away over here. So what I need to do now is I have four, I need four more, but I'm all out of iron, I'm all out of minecarts. So I need to find a way to reclaim the minecarts. Now, the minecarts are a little bit bigger than one space, so you see, you could see the minecart here, but do you think I could break it? Yes, you can. Perfect. So I'm going to reclaim all of the minecarts. So if I just break these, yeah, there we go. Oh, this one... Did that count? Yes, that did count. Excellent. And I just have one more to break. Perfect. Perfect. We are good to go. Now we have enough to get our iron farm started. All right. So let's give them three more bread. Oh, not four. One, two, three. Excellent. And we just got to move the rail over. Uh, I guess, yeah, it's got to go like this. 
And I guess I could do it like this for now. And do I have my levers? Yeah, I'll do it just like this for now. So I could do one, two. I'll do two for now. All right, I know the drill. I know the drill. Don't watch. It's kind of weird. All right, I get it. I'm just going to clean up my inventory a little bit. But you know what? Most of this stuff I want to hold on to anyways. So, but actually the glass can go back. And anything else? Oh, the trap doors. Oh, yeah. I want to place the trap doors properly this time, actually. Because I don't like when they... You see how here they're opening up inwards? I'd rather them open up outwards like that. And the only way to do that is if you're standing inside of it. And then you place it at the top. So I'm just going to finish off these four over here. Just like that. And you know what? I'm also going to... Actually, no, I can't fix these ones because now they're not in the minecarts anymore. So if I break these, then they're going to get out. I have to wait until they're adults so they can't fit in the one by one space. All right. So just to make sure, I put the four minecarts in here so we're ready to make four more. But I'm not going to watch unless... Unless... No, okay. I think they prefer if you did it. And I totally get that. No questions asked. Oh, it's already becoming nighttime again. That is crazy fast. And is this the same one that I traded with last episode? Yes. Well, I gave him a chance to get off my property. Now you're just overstaying your welcome. So I'm going to take that. But I'm not going to hurt the animals. They are innocent. So it looks like it's becoming nighttime again. So let us just go to sleep. Oh, and what did I pick up? A potion of invisibility. Oh, because he was just about to drink it. Amazing. I'm definitely keeping that. <laughs> that is... <laughs> that's an artifact if I've ever seen one. I'm going to frame this. <laughs> oh, and this thing... This thing fills up pretty fast, actually. The lava farm. That's good. So, you know what? I'm going to start using it to smelt stuff right away. So, where could I put this water temporarily? Oh, I see. I already have a little water thing going over here. Yeah, so I'm going to take this lava and I'm going to start smelting stuff. Because I'm running low on coal and I need it for torches. So what can I smelt? I can smelt cobblestone. So let's load this up. And perfect. Check that out. Oh, but then the bucket... Oh, and then I can reclaim the bucket. Okay, so I guess I'll just... Do that three times. Just to be able to smelt some more stuff. And also to clear this out. That's good. And I just want to check on this wool farm just to see it's still working. Yeah, it's definitely still working. More of them were coming in. And the bamboo farm is working well. So actually, yeah, I think I can convert those to sticks and get a little bit more emeralds out of them tonight. So let's... Oh, I guess I need more cobblestone then. Yeah, I'm going to need two more stacks. I'm going to put one like that. And I'm going to put one in here. Perfect. So let me go just grab a little bit more lava. The last one. Awesome. And we can continue our smelting journey. So I think it is worth it to expand the lava farm because it's it's a smelting material, which is very, very useful. And I could use it to smelt if I had like a cactus farm going or something like that. I could use it as an XP farm. So there's really a lot of options that I could do. But at this point, um, I just want to clean out my inventory a little bit. So let's get rid of all these blocks and the gravel, the dirt, cobblestone I need. Dirt I don't need. We could put the flint away, the lead, potion of invisibility, the rails I need, the mangrove propagate. I guess I could hold on to that as well. All right. So let's just wrap this up by trading the last bit of bamboo we have 
to get a little bit more emeralds. So I'm just going to make sticks out of this. And let's see how many more emeralds we can get. And is there one in here? No, not quite yet. Not quite yet. They do need to work a little bit also to regain their spirits. So... Okay, so that didn't give me very much emeralds, but it's the slow grind. We're almost at two stacks. So, I mean, it is coming along. And did by luck a tree grow? No, it didn't. But maybe better luck next episode because this is a great place to end this video. So if you liked it, please leave me a like, leave me a comment, tell me what you think, and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. All right, have an awesome day. Toaster out.